another in game up against Graves. Sorry, I just got into Kane. Ari, Jinx, Nautilus, and Kled. We have a bit of an interesting team comp here. This is a Grand Mastery low game. We have Nasus mid, yes. Volibear top, yes. And Zach Sport, yes. Very uh, interesting team here. So, being up against Graves, let me just think about what type of paths does Graves do? And just kind of how to like counter this guy. So first things first and foremost, I played against a good jungler, a good Graves jungler named Spirit earlier, who actually uh, understood what I was gonna do to him. But I don't know if this Graves will be as smart as my boy Spirit. And, um, I don't know if I know who Cloudy is, but essentially what Graves usually does is he'll do like red and do five camps down, or sometimes four camps down, and this gives him an op opportunity to lose the top side camp. Frogs, oh, oh, I'm dead, aren't I? I got Clyde Flash though. Should have up instead of down. Rolled that. I'm probably gonna lose my blue now. So my entire game plan of how I'm gonna path is just completely tarnished. That's not good. No leash either. Not good. Endgrave's got a first blood. Aw oh, man, this sucks. Well, now we're gonna have to do like a kind of a makeshift clear because I got so hard. This goes. Lose my entire top side, so we're just gonna force vertical. By the way, this is Pierce Mai. Yeah. Unironically, with this. Thanks for that resub. So much time. Welcome back. My uh, boy, back with a resub, six months. Oh, dude, you see the new map? I'm gonna play some more Apex, my boy. Alright. We are going to just farm these camps, same time. Lose all of our top side, and hopefully look for something bot side here. We get our W. Okay, so we could use it. Started charm, so our lane phase is a little bit weak early on. I don't really say it's gankable, just because my HP in that department. I gotta farm my buff right now because I want my Krugs and Raptors to respawn fast, as opposed to the red buff, so. Hey, does he have his red? He does have its red. And my blue, which means that he didn't farm my wolves. That's good. I have one extra camp on him. Because notice how he has three camps. Every camp is 4 CS. And he has red blue. That means he can do one extra camp. So, the Gromp or Raptors. But most likely Gromp. How easy it is to actually farm. Gromp. Probably get the uh, let's cuddle here and then the raptors. Yeah, how to deal with being cheese is just making sure to avoid conflict and just farm and catch back up slowly. It's usually the aggressor and the cheese not doing it properly because every jungler has been cheesing recently because they watch worlds so much level one action that they think that they're going to be like the next canyon. Kind of funny, but um, yeah, the, the truth about cheesing is that it's not really that good of a play style because it has to be a constant. You can't once and then like go back to normal gameplay unless you pick up some more free kills then you can kind of do whatever you want but you really have to like make sure that you're consistently like being at the right place right time so you'll notice canyon will like go like invade top side then path bot side invade bot side just invade everywhere there's very little wiggle room so notice here i'm moving freely i'm getting a lead the cs department and i'm able to like kind of from really around the map. I'm not getting punished. That's really what cheesing does. It's supposed to be a constant punish, but just punishing you for like the first levels and getting like a free kill doesn't really do as much as you think it would do. Okay, so that will probably respawn later. Gromp will be respawned already. And you can see, I get the Krugs. Oh, I took his bot side. I was able to get his wolves and Gromp. He didn't get my wolves and I get the second funny of my Gromp and I get the Krugs. So I'm getting a little bit more out of this trade at the moment. Uh, 
Uh, back up from our use TP. I literally don't get a kill on this guy. If he just flashes out, he should be fine. I could also try headstepping him, playing him. Dodge that. Yeah, then I just take the grump. But you want to be like Canyon 20 minute form in the new meta? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> 20 minute Canyon form. That was good. Graves are cursed in the form melee team. What a gamer. I know, I'm surprised I didn't run the the psychopath. Yeah, this should be a freebie here. Not necessarily free, but. I got him, and he died. So, no press. Graves just gonna like crash into the tower, and he doesn't have TP to come soak it up, so I'll just get it. You can see Graves is kind of sticking on the map here, so. You could probably go take the Raptors here as well. So instead of being like turbo behind, I'm actually gonna be very ahead. This is why I say cheesing has to be a constant. Because if cheesing is done properly, it's super oppressive and super rough to deal with. But just to not be, you know, off and on with it. <laughs> One, he forced the vertical by mid my top side, and then he immediately broke said vertical without properly, you know, defending his top side camps and properly, you know, punishing my top side camp. Wasn't able to deny me any anything. Pretty much you know, very little denial. Blood might deny me a camp. That'd be funny if Blood denied me more than the Graves denied me. Even though he got that early kill on me. Sure he took my Krugs, that's fine. Sure he took my uh Maybe my Raptors? It's possibility. Um, honestly, this guy kind of pegs me as the type of jungler just solo dragon at some random point. But a lot of junglers do to try and like remain, you know, like they like they have some sort of uh, strength. Like, oh, I'm down in CS and I'm down KP, but I'm picking the dragon, so I will win. It's actually not true. Usually, you want to only get the objectives. Either A, to help stall the game out an extra five minutes, or B, if you are very ahead and you plan on just. I know this is going to be like a very crazy first reset for you guys have probably never seen a first buy prowlers but if i have my bot side camps here i'm actually just going to first buy prowlers claw let's see did he leave a baby crook i nah, actually took both crooks dude this guy's full resetting my camps here that's so funny Oh, I need to hit the plan, just make sure. All right, I need to find a way to get myself 60 gold. Let's see. A rotating mid. Bring that out. I just go for the steel here, to be honest. I don't have a reset, but I am kind of a smite goat. Oh, I have a two level lead on this guy. I can totally just take wiener this. I know a lot of you probably are questioning, is that worth? Yes, I think so. For the first dragon to trade your life, using flash is kind of a, uh, makes it a little bit less worth, but still pretty good. Oh, and I got an assist too. Wow, that's good. Hopefully Zach could live here. It'd be nice. I don't know if he can, but we'll see. I'll sell this, I'll sell that. Now we are turbo rich. And I got the objective, so it's good. Continue my advantage. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are wondering how did I know that I was going to win that smite fight, how was I so confident? I pressed tab and I noticed that he did not have the uh, tier 1 smite. He had the tier 2 smite, which means that he just smited recently. So, for some weird reason, they felt like it was a good idea to rush the dragon without smite. So yeah, if you rewatch that play, because once it got below 900, you could tell he didn't have smite as well. It was kind of like just reaffirming it. Oh, Ari's kind of... I was going to say, if she walks into me, I could I'd maybe be able to solo her. The issue I'm really worried about here is that I have no mobility and Kled has a lot. He just jump on me and kill me here, so I'm not going to take three camps. I'm going to take two and all my blessings. Just get the piece out. Yes, there we go. All right, and we have that ward here for a little bit longer to defend my bot side camps. I'm probably not going to go for the Grom because I really want to defend that bot side camps because this Graves says at this point he's very irritated. He's very angry and he's going to start making some crazy invades and I can tell you 
my bot side camps are looking tasty to him, so I might have to go defend those bot side camps. Unless Nautilus is rotating top and they're willing to give up all those camps just for the rift. Oh my goodness, I think he is on the rift. All right, let's go find him and kill him. Yeah, I'm way ahead of him right now, so I'm not really worried by this about him. Oh no, he's at the Krugs, so he's gonna go do Krugs and then rip, huh? Oh no, but he gets a freebie! God, this guy's the king of getting free kills. Wish I could be that lucky. A lot of you probably wonder if I'm gonna still get tier. I probably will, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna buy an enemy third item. I'll probably buy it fourth. That's fine. Well, here, actually. By the way, this is Paris Mine, who would unironically win this game. Good evening. How long could I live here? Ooh, orb. Form! Nice. Oh, Timo Jack Frost, thank you for the 27 months. I got the shutdown, and I can go get my form, get a bunch of my games, and make some magic happen, boys. I'm going dead again, because I want to get my tier 2 boots. With great power, great responsibility to be all over the map. So, I need to make sure that, because I'm very ahead damage-wise, I am matching that with mobility, because map is mobility damage. Same, you need the equilibrium. Sometimes, I mean, if you're really uh, feeling yourself, you can go like tier one boost and just keep getting damage. It depends on what your resets are. If you have good 1100 gold resets and stuff like that, the better you get and the more you play, you'll you'll start feeling more, you know, comfortable and confident with certain resets. But I usually like to get a lot of mobility after I'm already strong enough to start, you know, diving on them, killing them. So, oh, Graves is down here. He has ult advantage, so I'm not going to look to fight him. But if he did not have ult advantage, I would definitely look to fight him and kill him. AKA in 30 seconds, so see if we find him. Back with the first by Banshee Veil. Pretty interesting. Asus wanted to take one little raptor to farm for his stacks. That's an Asus main right there. That is a that is an Asus main thing to do. So you could really tell the thought process behind these certain things. It's very minor things that you can definitely just get in their brain and be like, yeah, that guy knows what he's doing. He, he plays that champion all day. He knows what he is doing. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, this is something that happens quite commonly. Whenever I get a big lead in the enemy jungler, they're going to have their support from a rotate on me and try and deny me. Thankfully, I have an engaged support this time, so my spot lane can probably look to just dive and punish. Enemy AD carry, yes, that's what exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I mean, they don't get a lot of plays done. This is all trolling. This is all wasted time, and... Yeah, truthfully, it's not really the best call, especially since they're rotating a lot of their topside prio right now. While the dragon's gonna spawn in about 40 seconds, and we already have one dragon, so getting two dragons definitely is something I'm supposed to. Oh, you usually want to be careful fighting Graves whenever he's on objective, because you can stack your E so effortlessly. So, gonna ult the dodge the Nautilus ult. Oh! Gonna juke this guy out. Oh, please. We we'll to reroute ourselves into the, oh! into the fight and keep the rift aggro. That way we can get it without it resetting. Go win the fight. Are we win the fight? Ah, yeah, we are. This is Zach. Nice! Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love it. And we got the rift. Nice. And because rift gives you a fast reset, I can go a quick reset into a rotate into bot prio. Oh, oh, oh. And you regenerate HP through your red buff, through your E healing, and through fighting camps in the jungle. So this is going to be a very smooth play. I'm not going to lie to you, that Kled, after being uh, inside the graves, scared the absolute hell out of me. That was terrifying. Ah, but shucks, I should have sent the Rift mid. Ah, I'm trolling. That was actually really stupid by me. I just realized now that the plates... I, I, I didn't think it was 14 minutes into the game. I forgot that. Normally my CS is so much higher. That's why. But, you know, I've been getting pressure to beast them out. That early cheese, you know, is pretty tough. So, yeah, that's a big mistake on my part. I should have definitely looked to use that rift to get the power of the mid plates. I would have so much more gold. Would have been a little bit later on the dragon reset, but, I mean, it's worth to get the first tower. It's losing, you know, second dragon. As much as I love second dragon, don't get me wrong. I'm a second dragon joyer here. This guy loves his dragons, but still, bad decision making by me. I will admit, oh, Oh, that's the charm. How's that? Oh, and we lose the dragon. And I'm inside the Ari, every guy's fantasy, and she flies some for some reason when I'm inside of her. We're gonna go on the Jinx. Oh, good sidestep. I assume that she sidestepped like that because oh, it's gonna say no flash, but trapped. 
Oh, and you died. And I don't die. All right, well, now we can probably send her up. Ass, big dog. Look to get punished here, invade. This is something that a lot of people have to look for. After you get the uh, objective and you get a kill, you gotta look to punish as well. You gotta start invading them. Start invading them. Take all of his camps. Gotta make that enemy jungler wish that they didn't play against you. Yeah. This is gonna be an easy kill if uh, Zach follows through on this. I just need to get someone to break his uh, his shield here and we should be able to... Oh, he ran up. All right, I'm not gonna chase him because he ran up. He stayed down here, would be free, but him running up makes it a little bit more of a chase and could lead to the enemy team collapsing. You know, they do have the TP, they have the Graves following through because obviously Graves wanted to get his top side, but realized that his top side was gone because some maniac took it. Me. By the way, and, this um, is Paris Mai, who would unironically yeah, win this game. He probably wouldn't want to Don't fight listen that. to Ares. What's up, Lady? Hey, why? What did Harry say? Thanks so much that reset, my boy. All right, now let me think itemization-wise. Well, Graves has a shield, but it's only one shield. I mean, if you count Nautilus shield, but I don't really need to kill Nautilus. I think Edge of Night, pretty smooth, safe item that I really enjoy in the champs like Ari, because what does Ari have? Everfrost and Charm. And if she doesn't Everfrost me or Charm me, she dies for free. I don't even need to use my ult. And then I could probably kill Jinx no matter what, so. Also, you have to keep in mind that Nautilus press R on you into a combo. Five Edge of Night cannot press R into me and full combo me. So, this is just certain champions. I'm like, red flags start going off in my brain when I see him. And I'm like, all right, I could probably go Edge of Night here. Like, Vigar is another one. Definitely a red flag bringer. Gonna hush on this guy for the ego here. Oh, and there's the Nautilus ult. But thankfully, the MF ult there was to protect us. Thank you, Fortune. Love you. We love you. All right, we're going to shove this wave out and make sure we don't miss a single CS here. Oh. I go get a broadside side camps and we travel towards the mid lane. So notice that you're, it's always a constant of what you're doing. Oh, these plays. I kind of want to go support my team here just in case this goes too sour. But I do got that big damage to kind of force the disengage. I missed my W though. I am trolling. I am bad. I am beyond bad. I'm a noob. Noob. He's a good noob. Look at how fast the little guy is. He's dismounted. Ducks. Let's get that mana immune ski. Yeah, very powerful. But like I said. I don't know if I can get my tier stacked all the way before Man Immune. I might just go Grudge. They do have a decent amount of armor stack with the uh, play it in the grave. So Grudge is always a solid option here. Get my top side camps. And if you guys know anything, what does getting blue buff mean? It means that you get to stay out of the map longer. I don't need to reset. Also, just because I'm naturally just very ahead. So I'm able to catch people. Usually looking in side lane, but sometimes looking river. So right here. Oh ho ho. A river. He has his team with him, so he's gonna be looking to play a little bit with them. Oh, all right, I'm gonna go dive this. Sorry, we'll be very free and easy. New word I just invented called Freezy. Board here, they already spotted me. Oh, so she's gonna try and just immediately get out of there, but don't even need to use my ult. That is why I hold my ult there because if you don't know, obviously, I could uh ult from that pretty far distance. Look at how big this ulti range is. If Riot were to nerf one thing about Blue King that would make me genuinely sad, it would be the ulti range. And I feel like it is probably one of the most OP things about him. But that would make me very sad. Alright, well, as I spoke earlier, you want to make sure you're getting the objectives. You want to make sure you're getting a big reset for the objectives. So we're going to get Last Whisper. I'm sword. Not too big of a reset, but I mean a solid one. Plus. Good to Graves. No, no Graves. E. There's 20 armor per stack. And stack 8 times. At level 13. He's almost there. So. Will be pretty hard to get through that. And then play to get some armor here. Nautilus, obviously, is a big boy. Got some armor. Give, probably. Ah, oh, sadly. But. Understand the call. Would have been nice if Nats is rotating down. We could have been able to fight this. But if MF stuck around, we probably would have been able to. But they want to play the safe and not sorry route. You know? Yeah. 
double control ward. Wow, they really wanted that objective. See, so this is why I'm glad that they got... We hinted to seal the first dragon because we have an extra five minutes. So instead of them being on their third dragon and us being pressured for that next dragon, we got 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. And we we're all very ahead. So we could just keep focusing and prioritizing gold as opposed to the dragon objective. We could just keep playing that side lane Nasus. Sussy. Build it right away. Face Blood ulti. <laughs> this is why I like Edge of Knight, by the way. That's a little mechanic you can do. He's probably very upset now. I'll tell you this much. He is probably very upset. It's someone in there that was not... Not Liz. Probably would have declared if anyone. I think someone should go bot. Pressure bot. Or something. Alright. I'm down. Of course, a little something, something. Oh, it looks like we caught them out in a reset here. If anything. You know what, MF? I think you should have ulted the uh, pair in there. That probably would have been a third ulti. Okay, got her to. Got the Nautilus, now we're gonna wait patiently here. Got the tanks. The fled there, the so double slowed. I play this slow, slow, slow. Wait for the Nasusi to get in there. I steal the kill here. Never mind. Whoa! Nice. Beautiful. Oh! I like that. So yeah, once again, that's someone just understanding their champion's limitations and just understanding the strengths of our comp. We both had different ideas, but we're both trying to win, so I'm glad that we went along with this idea. Because, I mean, I'm always down to listen to other people's ideas. You just have to full commit. I feel like that's where a lot of players get lost. They're either half in, half out. But that's the worst thing you can do. You always want to full commit. But we were full committing right there. All good. Now, let me tell you this. You actually get more value out of having the last Whisper and completing the Man Immune. I don't know if I have enough gold for both, so let's see. I don't think so, but yeah. And now I could just work on this. So, getting the Man Immune in the last Whisper. Now we just farm our top side camps. We're level 16, so we could just turbo dive. We have flash, we have a tide, we have everything looking up for the boy. So the boy is gonna make sure that everything goes swell. Well. Since all side lanes are shoving, someone's probably gonna look to shove out the side lanes, and that could be my go to kill them. Ari's bot. Good. And Spide would be the one going top. Need to just go mid. Alright. I troll that just waste my genite there. Smite. Right before. You guys wanna know why I do that? I guess they have stopwatch or heal, that way I can Guaranteed to kill them because she wouldn't think she'd die there. But if I smite her, then I can get her low enough for the dark harvest threshold, and I get the ult plus dark harvest, and boom. The WR range my Q auto. Yes, that worked. GG. Well, oh, boys, that's what it looks like. You can get some first by Prowler's Flaw. GG. Hope you enjoyed the game. Go drop a like and a sub. Tell you too.